All right, welcome back, folks. We're talking about algorithms again, and we're going to look at the specification that goes into algorithms. What is it that describes an algorithm? So you know, as you recall, algorithms are one of the four big ideas in the APCSP framework. This is a review of functional abstraction review. You know that a block has inputs and outputs, zero or more inputs, exactly one output. Um, if it has no outputs at all, it's a command, and it's a puzzle piece shape. We know that before. The contract, what that function is going to do is called a spec or a specification. Again, this is all review. So what's in a spec? This is kind of review, but maybe you haven't seen all of this. So what's actually inside a spec? Well, when you're describing what a function is going to do, what the contract is between that black box, that f, you talk about the name of the function, what inputs it has, and what domain. So the domain is the input, what type that is, OK? What requirements are those inputs? It might say it's numbers, but the numbers can't be negative, or they can't be bigger than 5, OK? So you can have some requirements on those. The output, if it's a function, that's right, OK? You can also write none if it's a, if it's a command. Any side effects, we talked about that for commands, like play a sound or make the robot move. Example calls. So you might want to have some example ways to call it so that the user says, oh, I get it. That's how you would use it. Oh, I see. The list is supposed to be drawn out like that, not one element at a time or something. So here's an example here. Here's a function double. We saw this last time. The input is n, a number. It takes any number. The output is twice the number. And here's an example called double of 10. You see it reports 20. Very simple, OK? So all this is review and new material. Now, so what's not in a spec? What is not there? Well, the cool thing that's not there is how it gets done. The spec says what it does, but how is not part of that. How is below the abstraction line. This harkens back to our abstraction discussion we had last time. Okay? So for example, double could be, and I did this last a lecture ago, this could be n times 2, n plus n, or if it's an integer, positive integer, it could add 1 to itself n times. So it starts with n and add 1 to itself n times. Okay. Here's what's cool, ready? This gives you great freedom. This gives you great freedom to do anything you want, to be creative in how you do, how you implement the function. Isn't that awesome? It means that you get to have, people said, it's not creative. Computer science is not creative. One of the big lectures we talked about creativity says that, no, computing is creative. This is where it's creative. This is where you use your brain and say, wow, I need to do this really complicated thing. I'm going to be creative about how I get there. Do I go this path? Do I go this path? And they all could be correct. And that's awesome. And then all that, and they all have different values. So that's a piece of it. OK? So in summary, you've seen functional abstraction. What is above the line? And that is part of the spec. How it does it is below the line. And that gives you, the author, the creativity to do it your own way. All right, we'll see you at the next video.